Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sage One Accounting webinar. The topic that will be handled in this webinar is maintaining and creating your customer master files. Just some formalities before we get started. Everyone is muted so that there are no interruptions and that I can be heard clearly. First and utmost, I would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend today's webinar. My name is Tasneem and I will be taking you through. Information that you enter which does not change often is called statistic information. When you enter details for a customer, this type of information is called a master file. In Sage One Accounting, you can create customer categories which allows you to group customers for reporting purposes. You use the customers option to create and maintain your customers. Under the customer menu, add a customer, alternatively under list, customer categories, you have the option to add categories. You are able to create customer categories for your customers. You can use categories to group your customer accounts for reporting purposes. Since customer reports can be printed per category, this can be useful for tracking sales in a particular area. Click on add a category and you may add as many categories as you wish to. All categories description must be unique. Under customers, add a customer. You also have the option to add a category from the drop down box, add new category. When creating a new customer master file, add the customer name. If you wish to categorize, select a category from the drop down box. Check the cash sale customer if it is suitable. In this scenario, I'm creating a credit customer. If there's an opening balance that needs to be put in place at the correct date, ensure that they are added here. Set a credit limit and your customer VAT number, which is extremely important for invoicing over 3000 REN. If you wish to use your sales rep options, you have the option to add sales reps under this drop down box, alternatively in customers list list of sales reps. Once you have done so, by communicating with your customer via email or electronically, you would need to first ask your customer's permission. Once they have accepted the responsibility to accept electronic invoicing, you may check the following checkbox. With regards to auto allocate receipt to the older's invoice, this would mean that the customer would be selected as a balance forward customer. However, if you wish to work the open item system, uncheck the following checkbox. Ensure all the necessary information is added. If you would like to communicate with this customer electronically, please ensure the correct email address is set. Also, if you wish to allow this customer to view their account history on our customer zones, check the following checkbox. We have the option of accessing Google Maps with the following link. Under your activities, sales graph, quotes and invoice tabs, these will appear once processing has been done in your business. Under additional contacts, you have the option to add any extra contacts with which are applicable to this particular customer. So for example, you can add the manager. Select the contact name, his designation, and the necessary telephone numbers and email addresses. You can add as many additional contacts as you wish to and delete them at any time. Under your notes option, we have an entry date and an action date. If a note has been added with a future action date, perhaps it's a promise to pay. The following note will then appear on your to-do list in your dashboard. If you wish to add an attachment, click on the following Add Attachment link and you may add a scanned document. Perhaps it's a contract between yourself and your customer. Under your user-defined fields, you have the option to add extra information. These user-defined fields are set in your company settings under user-defined fields. Once you have completed adding the following customer, you can click on save, alternatively select save and new to add another customer. 
Remember, your customer names must also be unique in order for them to be saved. With regards to maintaining existing customers, under your customer menu list, list of customers, your customer listing will appear. You have the option to edit, delete or your quick view. If I wish to edit, you will once again return to the original Add a Customer window where you can make any changes to your customer master file. Alternatively, if you wish to delete the customer, deleting a customer will only be allowed if there are no processing to that customer. With regards to your quick view, access your quick view by choosing the following option and information for this particular customer will appear. You also have the option to access your quick view under your quick view menu customers and then selecting the customer from the drop down box. You have the option to edit the customer, view a customer statement, sales or processing that was done to the following customer. We have reached the end of the webinar and I hope a lot was taken in.